Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to the video. This time the Medicon Mafex. Oh, sorry, Mafex Cyclops. Apologies. Uh, let's get into it, right? Everyone knows that everyone's gonna be really divided on this, so I don't really care what you think. The point is, I'm here to bring you the review. And with this all being said, one of the really things that I want to talk about is Mafex still faces some QC issues. Mine's may have had a few issues with some gummy feet, maybe a a, a neck peg being really stiff, but that was mine. I know some people are facing other issues. The, I'm letting you know right now, those are the issues that I face besides a sloppy paint job, which does not really bother me because it won't really show on camera. Now, honestly, uh, this rendition of Cyclops, your boy Slim, is actually really dope. Now, if you prefer Marvel Legends, this may not be for you. If you prefer the Mezco stuff, this may not be for you. This is for if you want a japanese rendition of a 90s version cyclops this is exactly what you're going to get it may not be what you think you're getting but this is exactly what you're going to get with that being said the look of this guy is utterly fantastic i like the change from the light blue to the dark blue i think it actually works really well um light blue would have been great but i actually like the dark metallic blue uh well the cell shading like blue and as you can see here it looks like they made some changes last minute because these joints here are a lighter blue whereas the rest of them is a darker blue. So I, I guess some changes were made last minute, but that's my fix for you. They won't really tell you these things. Now, honestly, I like this figure a lot. I think it's great, especially because I don't have the 90s version of Cyclops as the, in the Marvel Legends. This is not my favorite version of Cyclops. So getting this guy still is actually a pretty great thing. And hopefully we can get other renditions of him. That's what I'm really hoping for. I would love an astonishing version of Cyclops. That would be my dream. Now, Let's jump into the actual review talking about this toy. We have a really great range of articulation. I know the midsection is going to bother some people. And uh, otherwise, I think you got a lot of other good stuff going. But let's jump into articulation and talk about what's going on with the figure. Our figure's head can look up. It can look down. It has really great articulation looking down. You can still tilt side to side. My neck, like I said, is really stiff. So bear with that. And then we have a rocking torso. We'll get to that. We have excellent, excellent arm articulation, which as you can see here, can rotate all the way around. We can rotate in, and we can actually get a great extension going across, which is fantastic. We can rotate out. There is a bicep swivel. You don't face the Wolverine issue of your arm falling off, at least not on mine. And your arm is double jointed, so you can flex your muscles whenever you feel like. There's a rotating peg. And despite the issue of this right here being in the way, you actually get a lot of rotation going to the side and tilting side to side. Like I said, the main issue that's going to bother some people is the fact that his uh, bands are a little too short. So you don't see the full midsection. But honestly, in, in, in the form of this articulation, if you stand this guy straight up, you actually should not have an issue of making him look good. But that's just how I feel. I know some people are going to say otherwise, feel otherwise. That's cool too. But the point is, as you can see here, it looks pretty dope. Even if I tilt his head forward, fix this guy up, we'll get a very nice view of him. As far as the legs go, our legs can go pretty far up. We have double jointed legs. There is a uh, thigh swivel that allows us to rotate through. And there is a drop down technique with your thigh swivel. So you can see what's going on here. On your foot articulation, you have a backwards forwards, you have a tilting side to side, and you have a toe pivot. You have all these really nice things on this figure that have a great and numerous amount of articulation, and you get the look. The only thing that you won't get with this look that I, I think that's gonna bother some people is like I said, this is gonna be a little too short and the neck is gonna look a little too stubby in certain poses, but here he looks just fine. So it really depends on how you're posing up your toy and how you're gonna get it to pose, and if you're worried about posing it because your schedule may break something, so I get it. Now, in terms of what Cyclops comes with, this is what's gonna set him apart from his Marvel Legends one, but not, and put him in the same range as the Mezco one. So this is what I'm gonna show you guys. Now, you get his uh, side head holding hands or his pointing hands for his visor when you wanna put them to the helmet. Then you have relaxed open palms, Depending on what you want to do with these, they're yours to choose from. You have your optic concussion head. So this is going to be like when you get that lens flare and, and it flares up. This actually looks really wonderful. Also, 
Just know that this is also like the grinning head. The visor piece is removable. I'm going to leave that off. As well as on the normal head, I'm going to take the head off. makes it a little easier. This is also removable too. And I'm going to show you why. Now, like I said, my joint up here is actually really tight. I was going to tell people, if your joint isn't super tight, you can actually rotate this around to give you a better neck range when you're doing certain things like looking up or looking down, depending on what you want to do. So just keep that in mind. Then you'll get an open visor piece. This open visor piece is for you to get put on either of the visor heads. So you can get your short optic blast, which looks absolutely great. I like how it goes from white to a clear red with succession of extension range. And then you have your wide optic blast because Cyclops is quite skilled as using his optic blast with the exception of he can't turn it off. Sucks for him, right? So with all that being said, let's see if it can hold up the weight of the heavy one. I know for the lighter one, it easily holds up the weight, but I haven't tested the heavy one. So let's do that right now. We're going to stand him straight up and just see if it holds and with no problem, it holds up. Looking up. Oop. Now, the body held up, but those ankles did not. So let's keep that in mind for mine. I did say mine's had very loose ankles. But looking up, it holds up pretty fine. This is one of those things where, you know, it's a QC issue, but it doesn't bother me too much, but it may bother you. So keep that in mind. So I really like how this came out. And like I said, this is what kind of sets it apart from its Marvel Legends one, because we all know that we got it separately with the other one. Last but not least, you're going to get the Ruby Quartz. Oop. Like I said, my ankles suck. <laughs> then you're going to get the Ruby Quartz head with the glasses. Now, in photos, these glasses actually looked pretty dark and black. But once I got it in hand, I realized they just kind of got the color wrong. These are supposed to be red shades. These very much look burgundy with some holographic red in there. These are the only thing that kind of really bothered me because they match the hair color. They both look brown when they should be Ruby Quartz, a.k.a. red. So then you'll also get... Uh, the visor down piece to put on the head so you can wear it forward backwards however you feel like doing it because those glasses ain't coming off so it depends on how you want to go about it but yeah you get a lot of nice options for this guy i know some people had to buy the marvel legends several times to get a full set of accessories as well as customize so if you don't like those options this could be an option for you depending on how you're going to feel about the size when i size them up next to some other Marvel Legends. So let's jump into that part. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put back on a normal head with a cool visor part. Let's get this guy sized up, right? So here he is standing straight up. First things first, like I said, I don't have the Marvel Legends 90 Cyclops, but I do have my favorite one, which is going to be the Astonishing costume. I very much like this costume, which is why I kept this Cyclops. And when compared to your six inch Marvel Legends Cyclops, he actually scales pretty well, very close to, if not around the same height. So you have that. Next up, you can compare him to the Mezco Cyclops, which is a bit taller. But overall, this is a matter of preference with you. Depending on what you like, this is what you're going to get. And here you have options, right? Let's take these guys away. Next up, I want to compare him to a Marvel Legends Magneto. And then a Mafex. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Not Mafex. The Mezco Magneto. So again, you'll have options in choosing between these two and how you want to rock them together. Depending on what you want to do, you have size. Either way, both of them look pretty good. And depending on what you are aiming for, you can get it. Now we're going to compare them with a bunch of other random uh, X-Men related stuff so you can see what you got going on. Here he is with a Dark Phoenix Jean Grey. Let's put that sash down. It's your boy Colossus, who's going to be bigger than everybody no matter what, but it's really about how you want to size up. Here's Jubilee, and her leg will not sit flush, so I'm going to move her. Next up, we have someone random, like Beast. And this is the Henry Beltron, uh, sorry, Henry Belt, the, blah, I'm all messing up. The Beltron Brothers. And I believe Henry Beltran painted this for me, but this is Sculpture Shelf's Beast Head, for those of you that ask. Then, last but not least, we're going to compare to 
the Marvel Legends Wolverine. And then the Mafex Wolverine. So you definitely have some really good options here. If you want the really short Wolverine, you'll obviously go with the Marvel Legends. If you want to put Mafex with it, it totally works too. But I'm letting you know, the Marvel Legends is the smallest one, which to me is probably going to be the closest one in height. Even though he's the wrong era, and Deadpool does time travel, so who knows. Here he is with a Mafex Deadpool to show off. Now, if we're talking about other lines and any other things, next up you have stuff like your boy, the Juggernaut. Move it, Wolverine. Juggernaut's always going to be bigger than, but now you get to see what he looks like. Last but not least, a few other things to compare to, but nothing too crazy. Just to see how you want to go along with it. Here is a synthetic human. Here is a Mezco Pink Skull Chaos Club. I'm pretty sure you get the hang of where this is going. So now you know what you got going on. Overall, I really like this Cyclops. But if you're happy with your Marvel Legend, you know, you don't have to go out and do too much. If you're happy with your Mezco, you don't have to do much with that either. It's really about what you want to do now. So if you're enjoying, go out and get it. If you want to try something new, go out and get it. If you're happy, stick with what you got. As always, guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for enjoying as always. And please, be good, do good, drink your water. Later. So one really nice bonus size comparison that I want to get in that I forgot during the main video is that if you want to get your Marvel superheroes uh, or X-Men versus Street Fighter game uh, crossovers on, which I'm pretty sure a lot of you are, real quick, here we go, because I'm not sure if I added them in, but here's Sabretooth next to Cyclops. Here's an SHF Ryu. And the reason why is because if you're going to get your X-Men versus Street Fighter, definitely going to need those two. Here we are with Captain America from Marvel Legends. Last but not least, I'm gonna throw a Moffat Spider-Man in because this is everybody's new definitive Spider-Man. If not, you can just replace him with your Marvel Legends one. But as you can see here, Cyclops actually scales pretty well with these guys. And then Cyclops will be like 6'1". But again, depending on how you wanna go about this and how you wanna do this, these are all very nice that they can comparable to each other, kind of have some fun. But I wanna make sure you guys see this. So here you go. Thanks, guys, as always. Later.